traigo la contra. Para la maravilla. Tabaco y ron. Tabaco. I mean, if you lived in the hood with a bunch of Dominican or Puerto Ricans and that song didn't come on in a Spanish house party, I don't know you. But today, it's all about tabaco y ron, baby. Tobacco fragrances and some of the fragrances that I feel that are gonna be spectacular. Top 10, baby. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on to these tobacco bangers. Blessed morning, my beautiful people. You know who it is. This is your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. We got tobacco on decky. Where's my cigar? If I smoke in the studio, my wife will stab me in the throat. Ah! These fragrances are in no particular order and they're all amazingly beautiful tobacco fragrances. Some that you may already own, some that you've never heard of, and for the newcomers on the channel or to the fragrance scene, this is going to be an amazing list. Let's go. So this first fragrance, I don't even know how many videos I've put it in, but it's that good that it's consistently sold out and that's by the house of Savoir Fe and that's Soul Cafe. Spectacular to say the least. Citrusy nuances with a blood orange punch. The opening is all tobacco leaf. It's sexy, it's a little wet, it's very mature, it's got lavender essences. There's like a drip drop of honey all up in that fragrance. It's got some dry like firewood in here and it's absolutely stellar, gorgeous, and sexy as shit. There hasn't been one person that has encountered this fragrance that has really had anything bad to say about it. On the contrary, I feel that every person that has smelled Soul Cafe has been like, wow, Cuba, you done put me on to the super plug. That's why it's consistently sold out. So put your ass on the waiting list because this is incredible. Next one. Ugh. It pains me that this is on this list because I am not a fan of the original or multiple flankers of this house. This is, as a matter of fact, probably my first real Victor and Roll fragrance that I really enjoy, and that's Spice Bomb Infrared. Why are you on this list? I don't even like you. I really do. This one is like the only one that right now at this point I like, and not only I like, I think is pretty incredible off of my skin. The spicy ass, peppery tobacco that comes off of this fragrance with the incredible performance that it does can't be denied and that's really what we're going off of this super spicy it's got a nice hitch in your giddy up it's tobacco bomb and it just performs incredible it's really a mass appealing fragrance that should be on this list but i'm disappointed that it is because i just don't want to like you but I do, next one. One of the first fragrances from this house, and I love this house, but this is just a sex bomb by the House of Parfums de Marley, and this is Herod. This is romance, this is sexy, this is incredible, it's incensey, it's tobacco. There's a lot of sultry seduction that comes out of this bottle. It's pretty incredible what it does off of my skin and pretty much everybody's. This is essentially like the top Parfums de Marley, like next to Layton. It, it's gotta be this one. There's just sexy nuances here that are continuous and really get better with time and age. Like, it's very difficult to describe that visceral feeling that you get when you spray this type of incredible fragrance off of your skin, that it screams sex. Do me baby and do me right. Perfumes de Marley Harrod is just a stellar, damn near masterpiece for me in the tobacco space. Next one. This fragrance I would call in that entry level tobacco space that has a crazy amount of power and that's by the house of Mancera and that's Red Tobacco. This is that mass appeal bomb from Mancera. Mancera is known for making incredibly powerful fragrances and this is absolutely one of them. This one is a playful tobacco. It's a sweet tobacco fragrance with like fruity nuances like apple, dry woods, there's lavender essences in here. And again, it has a little bit of that honey kind of coconutish vibe in here. Very minimal, 
but very sexy and sweet. This fragrance is super pretty on the opening, but when it completely dries down on your skin and the vetiver nuances and that musky powerhouse starts coming in and really settles in on the skin and your pH level starts cooperating, it just does something beautifully magical. And it's not that expensive, to be honest with you. It's a very hype fragrance if you're in the fragrance community and you like tobacco fragrances, but this is absolutely worthy of the hype because it's an incredible tobacco joint. Next one. The next one I like to call her Dirty Tobacco. She is a naughty little girl and she's a nasty powerhouse that's boozy and tobacco. So we talking tabaco y rum. Roja's Creation E. She's a bad bitch. This is a fragrance that when you smell it like this, you're kind of like, I don't know. I don't get it. The fragrance had a ton of hype behind it, but it isn't the easiest fragrance to wear. I wanna consider this a challenging, expensive fragrance, and really an expensive fragrance to be challenging, to be honest with you, because not many people wanna pull the trigger on something so expensive and feel that on the opening, it's going to be a little bit, mm. But really, when it dries down, is you gotta let this shit sit down. You gotta let her talk. Don't just judge the book by a cover, let it marinate. There's some depth and creativity. She's not just a blonde bimbo that looks delicious, that helps, but she also has depth in conversation. Just give it some time, let it work on your skin, and you're gonna figure out that it's a beautiful masterpiece when it really works with your body. It's, it's tobacco, it's booze, it's earth, it's gingery to provide some brightness, but it's also a heavy, dense fragrance that is only for the cold weather, fall, winter times but it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance if you're a tobacco lover. Next one. I feel like I'm gonna read this from a script. This is as follows. This fragrance will never leave my collection cause my wife will castrate me like a stag. This is her favorite fragrance by far in my collection. I've mentioned it time and time again and that's Serge Luton's Chergy. Pretty much one of the most unique fragrances in the game because this shit has this barnyardy kind of flow to it. And you're like, Uba, why does barnyard sound like something that's sexy? Until you smell it, it's really hard to comprehend. Like think of some wine notes. Some of them have like fucking manure and dirt. All these odd herbal notes in it that when you think of a wine ingredient, you're like, there's no way that this shit is gonna taste good and ends up being incredible. This is kind of what this is. This is tobacco and barnyard hayish kind of dense, sexy cloak of winter on your body. It has this unique ability to attract people's attention and really crack that conversation. For me, this is kind of an awkward icebreaker because it's so unusual to anything else that's out there. It really has its own personality and it has this intrigued sex appeal about it that really wants to captivate you and really ask questions like, who, what, where, why was the individual who thought about this? and what were they smoking and can I get a quarter ounce? Next one. This one is a lusciously sweet fragrance. I don't wanna categorize it just in the tobacco space. I feel like it's a sweet honey tobacco, but just is incredible. I promise you that everybody who's hyped this fragrance deserves a raise in their job. This is by the house of Zherzhov and that's Naxos. Soothing. Sexy, close encounter, compliment animal. It's a very honey molassesy type of lavender fragrance with essences of sex dripping off this bottle. It is sultry, it is hot, wet. Let's get under these sheets and perform Kama Sutra moves that will absolutely flare up my scoliosis. Vanilla, tobacco, tonka bean, lavender, citrus, honey, there's nothing in there that sounds bad. Then you got that smoky tobacco dry leaf that smells just stellar. Wow, what a fucking bomb. Get this shit in whatever size you absolutely can and I promise you, you won't regret it. Next one. Speaking of tobacco and tonka bean, let's just throw Banana Republic in there. Cheap, sexy, sweet, Banana Republic. They make chinos, for God's sakes. At one point, they were affordable. Now Banana Republic be spazzing out, thinking your pants is worth like $125. What, you smoking crack? Get the fuck out of here. Sweet tobacco, tonka bean, and kind of like a milky, creamy coconut vibe on it. Performs fairly well off of my skin. I want to get about late sixes, early seven hours for a fragrance that really is under the $50 mark. It's actually very, very beautiful. And if you want to step into the tobacco space and really not break the bank, 
this is a great entry point. I'm surprised about how good this shit really was, but it really does highlight tobacco and tonka bean beautifully off of the skin. So this is a stellar cheap tobacco fragrance that really deserves to be on this list. Next one. This is a newer acquisition and I recently just dropped a video on this fragrance because I got it in a Max Aroma kit and it's like the epitome of man. It's like gunpowder, tobacco, manliness, like dude who works in the fields, a real fucking rancher that it's 115 degrees and your man is in like ostrich boots. That's that Beaufort Iron Duke. This is just manly, mineral grain, tobacco, tobacco smoke. Not so much pipe tobacco, it's more of a dry, ashy tobacco, which really gives it this super masculinity. Just picture Marlboro Man back in the day. You know, just those commercials, those big ass billboards that were just promoting fucking cancer is what I get out of this fragrance. Very masculine, no feminine qualities to this. A little bit rustic, but a powerhouse of a fragrance that has this beautiful manly sex appeal on it. That is incredible and the performance is nuts. I mean, scrape off with a Brillo nuts. But in this cold ass blistering four degrees waking up weather in New York, huh, you need it. Last and certainly not least, tobacco, tonka, coconut, sexy, fire. Another house that I'm a big fan of, and that's Nishane's Fan Your Flames. I need to smell this right now. Guess what? We bout your fan your flames life today. It's like a shot of heroin or crack. Never done them. I've never done them. It's a conspiracy. Oh, dry cedar wood, coconut, milky, creamy. The tobacco here is just. Mmm! I want to smoke something right now. Step. I can't. I smell fucking delicious right now. I don't even want to hold you. This is an incredible fragrance by the house of Nishane. You know what? Let's keep it simple. Guys, incredible. Beautiful, sexy, unique, stellar. I smell phenomenal. Snort my neck right now. These are the 10 incredible tobacco fragrances that I've picked out for this list. I mean, these shits are stellar. Stellar. I would spray all these on my sack right now and even layer them just to have 10 layers on me. It's a little obnoxious, but it is what it is. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is biggest in the game. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.